Hi there everyone, it is currently the 19th of October 2011 and actually out in the Western Pacific today a relatively calm day as far as tropics but in the Indian Ocean, specifically in Northern Bay of Bengal, last several frames here you can see a tropical depression starting to spin up and head up towards Burma and parts of Bangladesh likely to be seeing some very heavy rainfall out there. We all know that area is exceptionally flood prone uh, especially in the, some of these lower delta regions here. As this moves on shore, likely near Chittagong here it's it's going to be bringing some pretty uh, decent winds and some heavy rain and actually if we zoom in on the visible imagery you can see that this overall tropical depression has a fairly good organization and circulation with it. A lot of inflow coming in here from the north, kind of wrapping around the system. But if you look closely, see this little center of circulation? It looks like an eye wall trying already to develop with this. And it's not named yet, just a tropical depression. Look, that probably won't be named and probably won't reach that tropical storm intensity before moving on shore just because of the rapid intensification with this. And as it probably will start to become disorganized, after it moves on shore, but still, uh, nonetheless, though, much of uh, Burma here and also Bangladesh up here towards the north, and you have parts of India here on the map as well, going to be seeing some heavy rainfall today, and that, it may cause some good news for much of Thailand here. You see Thailand down here towards the southeast. Much of this system is going to be sucking up a lot of that moisture there with the monsoonal trough, so really good news that you actually might be seeing some fair weather down here around Bangkok where you continue to see the heavy flooding down there, and a lot of the rivers and canals in that city are really at the brink of flooding stage or overflowing their banks so really kind of good news as far as that but we all know much of the uh, Bangladesh area in here really you actually below one meter from sea level especially right up here in the Delta region and also it's a fairly populated area so any intense rainfall like this could cause uh, the potential for some flooding out there and especially especially since this has developed rather quickly in the past 24 hours. But for the time being, looks like the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is going to put out a warning on this, calling this tropical depression 02BB for the Bay of Bengal Indian Meteorological Department. Not putting out any warning graphics on it just yet, but noting that they are calling it a tropical depression as well. But this is looking at the GFS model on this, looking at this big surge of energy coming on shore, bringing that heavy precipitation across much of Bangladesh here and parts of Burma as well. Going to be seeing those heavy rainfalls as it moves on shore but good news over the next 24 hours it looks like this whole event's going to start to be over with and actually if we look out to Friday it looks like skies already clear up so really a rapidly developing event but it's going to be over quick as well so kind of good news on that factor but really the bad news is the fact that this has developed up so quickly that some of these warnings out here and especially the potential for flooding may not get to everybody so we're going to continue to watch the situation as it develops but here is the potential for development put out by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. But as I already noted, it looks like they're going to continue to update this and upgrade it to a tropical depression. So just something to keep note of. But looks like their general thought and consensus, it is going to move on shore here near Chittagong, around the Bangladesh region here, and bring in all those heavy amount of precipitation. But I do want to zoom out of the Indian Ocean and actually go down under here, where Queensland is seeing some flooding as well. And this is all due to a trough low pressure extending here across the Coral Sea into Queensland, seeing some pretty heavy rainfall out there and actually the Mulgrave and Thule rivers both putting out uh, the Bureau of Meteorology has put out a flood warning for both of those regions there here on the Queensland coast so just something I do want to note as well and actually if we zoom in on one of the radars here this one out of Cannes, just seeing some of those heavy precipitation moving onshore right now. So much of this region going to be seeing some heavy rainfall today. It looks like the Bureau of Meteor Meteorology already covering this and already stating that there is potential for some of these low-lying areas and some of these river basins to really see the potential for some increase in water levels. But you can see this a trough of low pressure here along the Queensland coast, specifically northern Queensland, where you're seeing these heavier rainfalls. You also still have the polar lows running around here towards the south. So uh, really, this is what I'm noting is the fact that we're starting to go from the summer season to the or excuse me from the winter season to the summer season down here in Australia and that means that cyclone season is going to start spinning up here in the near future don't really start to see it I uh, really start to turn up too strong until about December into January but here by late October you're already going to start seeing this monsoonal trough across Queensland here and that means the increase in precipitation out there and lastly we conclude our walk around the regions here ending with the Western Pacific showing a big area of low pressure actually moving across 
Japan today, bringing some pretty cloudy skies. Actually, in my region up here on the Kanto Plain, seeing some fairly cloudy skies with some gusty winds out there. Kind of cool and breezy out here. But overall, though, across the rest of the region, we had Invest 94W out here near Guam. Looks like that's basically dispersed out since uh, there's a lot of wind shear out in that region. So not looking at any significant tropical development. But you see the extending off of this trough of low pressure just southeast of Japan, bringing some pretty heavy precipitation to the northern Philippines today. So you could see some localized flooding there. Pagasa stated basically partly cloudy skies with isolated thunderstorms in the Manila metro area. But due to some afternoon heating and this trough of low pressure, I think it could be a little bit more significant than that. And you could see some thunderstorms extend overnight tonight across much of northern Luzon, including the Manila area. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for listening here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them in the comment box below. And also, we're going to continue to watch this tropical depression 0 to be developing out there in the Bay of Bengal. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Stay safe.